Some say sobriety checkpoints would make our roads safer. But they are not allowed in Wisconsin. Tom Murray reports. We want to show you how traffic checkpoints work, so we went to Illinois, where we saw officers stop hundreds of cars in just a few hours. Sergeant Donovan and I think Butler are going to be out on the checkpoint. The Friday before St. Patrick's Day, just south of Chicago. Slow down! The Cook County Sheriff's Office conducting what they call a roadside safety checkpoint. Do these checkpoints make your road safer? Yeah, I believe they do. Officers waved every fifth car into a parking lot. Hi, driver's license insurance card, please. With a valid license and insurance and no sign of impairment, drivers are on their way in a few minutes. Well, I don't think it's a problem. A little inconvenient, but it's not bad. Is it worth it to, if it does get catch a few drunk drivers? I think so, personally, yeah, because I've known people that have lost lives to drunk driving. If there's anything suspicious, the car goes to a row of waiting squads for further inspection. Have you guys been smoking weed? Officers smelled marijuana. What am I doing so you guys can they search the car and everyone inside. Now here in Cook County, they'll do these checkpoints several times a year, almost always on the weekend, usually around a holiday. Sometimes officers catch a lot of drunk drivers. This was not one of those nights. Tonight now, you've been out here for a while, you've been seeing some of the operation. Tonight, we haven't seen a lot of uh, impairment. They really don't um, you know, nail that many people who are actually under the influence. Brookfield criminal defense attorney Jerome Buting says checkpoints are wrong for Wisconsin. It's a great inconvenience and it is an intrusion on, uh, on your Fourth Amendment rights if it's not done right. But there has been limited support from both political sides. The states that do have enforcement zones, I think people think twice about drinking and driving. State Senator Tim Carpenter says he will bring up a measure to allow checkpoints even offering aid to pay overtime for officers to work. People in the back of their minds think there's a very low chance that they'll probably get stopped for drunk driving. And uh, we have to change those odds to get people to know that if they go out and drink and drive, they're going to be caught. Illinois is the only neighboring state where sobriety checkpoints are legal. They are not allowed in Michigan, Iowa, or Minnesota. Tom Murray, today's TMJ4.